गुड इवनिंग हरिता गुड इवनिंग सर So we'll wait for a few minutes. You able to hear me? Yes, sir.
गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग yeah today uh, i plan to complete we will practice some numericals or applications of trigonometry is it fine is it fine shall we do applications of trigonometry yes sir so the, the revision means the application of trigonometry content is nothing only you have to find out the angle of uh, inclination and angle of depression so the way how we can observe the object will decides the angle of what are the two angles we have to discuss here even can we recall suppose the observer is on the top of a building line of sight the observer is a point he is he is standing and here is observing this is called a line of sight everything will be discussed with the line of sight suppose a car is here he is observing this car so you want to move the head down so this angle is called angle of depression generally angle of depression will come when the objects are looking at downwards suppose the observer is at the bottom he is like this he is here observer is here he is observing at the top of the tower something he is observing at the top of the tower here this is called angle of elevation in this case so if it is taking alpha and this is beta so angle of elevation so same as sin theta what is the definition of sin theta cos theta tan theta that is enough to solve this question sin theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side of the angle the hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta which is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side so with the help of this data we can do anything related to applications of trigonometry the another name of applications of trigonometry is heights and distances yeah so we proceed to some numericals right of this respond my worksheets are ready my be after the class i will share it to center people and they will they will share it to you people so i prepared 50 questions from each topic so you can do these mcqs you try if you don't know you will let me know so we'll start with uh, two marks questions first these all the questions are different kind of questions related to applications of trigonometry so hope you can able to see the screen properly am i right guys Yes, sir. So this so three questions I am taking. So we will start solving these three questions. So anyone can explain the first question? What it is? What is the first question says? Friends, please respond. here depicting the diagram is very much important for a given situation drawing the diagram is very much important a ladder is leaning against a wall so just assume there is a wall like this 
the ladder is leaning like this this is the ground this is a ladder so give the name ab is the wall and bc is the ladder an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal if the foot of the ladder is 2.5 m so the distance between where the ladder is touching to the wall is 2.5 m then at what height the ladder is touching find the length of the ladder sorry he is not asking the at what height sir he is asking the length of the ladder this is the length of the ladder so which ratio is giving the length of the ladder and the 2.5 meter question number 35 if i am taking cos theta i will get adjacent side by hypotenuse this is a like a right angle triangle where hypotenuse is your ladder length so bc ac so where ac is the 2.5 bc is the length of the ladder Cos theta is equal to how much? Theta is given in the question, so you have to observe the question very clearly. Cos 60 is equal to 2.5 by length of ladder. So cos 60 is equal to how much, students? What is the value of cos 60? 1 by 2. 2.5 divided by length of the ladder. M cross multiplying length of the ladder is equal to five meter. This is my final answer. Is it clear for everyone? So here you have to remember the all uh, trigonometric ratios of standard angles. So the table I am going to draw for the before going to the next question. Is it clear this question? Is it clear, students? Yes, sir. How to remember the trigonometric ratios of the standard angle? Anyone can guide me how to do this one. Trigonometric ratios of the standard angle. Theta. Standard angles are what are the standard angles? 30 degrees. 45 degrees. 60 degrees. 90 degrees. Sign ratio, cos ratio, tan ratio, phi 1 not required for the heights and cosecant and all are reciprocals of sine cos tan. Sign 0, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. This is 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by 2, 0. Anyone can give a tan values? So zero one by root three. Mm -hmm. One root three and not defined. One root three. 1 by 0 or undefined. For calculation purpose, you have to take 1 by 0. For explaining the answer, you can say as undefined. So we will go to the next question with the help of this table. Yeah. How to do this question? I need uh, question number 36. We have to do now. How to do the question number 36? Please try. Question number 36. Please try guys, meanwhile. Yes. 
The angle of uh, elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall is 60 degrees. That means there is a wall like this. There is a ladder is leaning against the wall, and this angle is 60 degrees. And the foot of the ladder is 9.5 meters away from each. This is 9.5 meters. And the length of the ladder, same here. Suppose if I am taking A, B, C is the triangle formed by this situation. So AC is the length of the ladder. AB is your calculate length of the ladder. What is the answer you got, madam? Sorry. 19 meters, sir. Correct. So cos 60 will give the relation between the known value and unknown value, which is equal to BC by AC adjacent side by hypotenuse. BC is equal to 9.5. AC, I don't know. From here, AC is equal to 9.5 by cos 60, which is nothing but 9.5 into 2, 19 meters. Correct. To the next question. Yeah. Question number 37. Question number 37. Please try. Sir, is it 15 through 3, sir? That's wrong. Yeah, a tower stands vertically. What is the answer you got, students? 15 root 3 is one answer. Let's see whether we are getting 15 root 3. Uh, is everyone got the 15 root 3? Amrita, Akshita, Vishnami? Yes, sir. Shall we go for next question or we will discuss the question? Then solve this question, 38. Who wants 37, please let me know, I will solve.
I will draw the diagram for the 37. Let's see. A tower stands vertically on a ground. If I have a point on the ground, who's 15 meters away from the foot of the tower? It is a tower and there is a point 15 meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle elevation at the top of the tower point to be 60. So this they found as 60 degrees. They are asking the height of tower. So if we see the height of the tower, sine 60 is equal to h by 15. So h is equal to 15 sine 60. So 15 into sine 60 is 2, 3 by 2. How it is 15 root 3 students? How it is 15 root 3? Sir, uh, sin 60 will not be h by 15 side. Why? Sir, sin is opposite by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Here you have to take tan 60. Tan 60. This is tan. So tan 60 is root 3. So 15 root 3 is right answer. Sorry, guys. My mistake. Do the question number 38 after this. Sir, 38 only half of the question says. Yeah, then we'll, I will paste the 38 question. Read the question carefully and solve this question. Yeah, please. What the answer? Contact her plans to install two slides for the children. I think it's a textbook question, I'm thinking. Just check. Yes, sir, it is a textbook question. Sir, so for uh, children below five years, it will be three meters, sir. And for children above five years, it will be 3.46 meters, sir. Below? Uh, below five years, three meters, sir. Three meters. Above five meters? Uh, two, uh, two to three meters, sir, which is three point. 3.46 meters. Let me check with others. What about others, guys? Sir, length of small side is 3 meter only, sir. Uh, second one, I am calculating. So, shall we go for the next question?
try to solve this question please So the long, uh, the largest slide also it is three point four six approximately. Yeah. So if you're done, go for thirty nine question. Mm -hmm. That question everyone got. Try this question. Anyone got the answer, students, for this question? Anyone got the answer for this question? Anyone got the answer for this question? Guys. The given figure find x if angle EBD is equal to 146. Anyone got the answer? Friends, hear what I'm asking? Sir, can you please work it out for me? It is actually not much related to trigonometry, but it's a part of circles. See, what is the data given here? This is a line. There is a line like this, B, B, E. C. This angle is given as 146. So angle EBD plus angle DBC is equal to 180. When substituting EBD is replacing with 146 plus angle DBC is equal to 180. What is the angle you got? Angle DBC 180 minus 146. What is the answer? 180 minus 146 is how much? 34 degrees. 
34 degrees. Now, this is 34 degrees. How I can find out X value with this data? With the help of this, how I can calculate X data? Students, you have to keep it in mind, this point was not actually there in textbook. Here EC is the tangent, and our X is equal to, our X is equal to, angle DBC, which is equal to 34 degrees. It's a little bit question I felt important. That's the reason I'm teaching in this. There's nowhere relation between uh, this, but it's came in worksheet as a trigonometry. That's the reason I'm doing it. Suppose if an, a tangent is like this, if I'm taking a chord like this, suppose anywhere on this, this chord is making some angle. So you can make many angles. This angle is nothing but this angle. Is theta here also theta. It will make the if I am forming a triangle anywhere on the circle. So this angle, this angle is same that we can do using trigonometry only, but you can keep it as like this. So no need to explain. You can mention here alternate segment angles, angles in the alternate segments, angles uh, in the alternate segments. Angles in the alternate segments. Clear what I'm saying? Students, shall I go for the next question? Yeah. Next question is. Three more, two more questions. One. Just in the one question. Yeah. How to do this question, please? Sir, is it two root three meters, sir? Ladder is placed on the wall of the house as such. Its upper part end is touching the top of the wall. This is the hmm? upper part is touching top of the wall. A, B, C. Theta. BC is the ladder, AC is the ladder here, AB is the wall. Uh, foot of the ladder is 2 meter away from it, making an angle 60 degrees. He is asking determine the height of the wall. So tan 60 will give the height of the wall, correct? So AB by 2 meter. So AB is equal to 2 root 3 meter is the right answer. Simple. But you explain with the steps and diagram to get the full marks. Don't try to do cut short answers like what I'm doing here. 
yeah. Three marks questions. We'll see this question. I'm taking two questions. We'll do both the questions. So we will start with the 41. Please uh, do the 41 question. Question number 41. Yeah, please. Hmm. This is final. Check this calculation. Do the forty one question? A moving boat is observed from a top of 150 meter high cliff moving away from the cliff. The angle of depression of the boat changes from 60 degrees to 45 degrees in two minutes. Find the speed of the boat. So first find out how much distance it is moved from 45 degrees to 60 degrees changing in angle of depression. So when I'm depicting the diagram, it will come like this. Suppose this is the baseline and this is the tower. The observer is observing from tower. Initially, the boat is here and he is observing. So the angle of depression is 60 degrees. And the boat is moving away from the cliff like this. So again, when he observed the second time, so when the boat is at this second position, this is my angle of a line of sight. So now the angle of depression is 45 degrees. It is decreased. When it is going away from it, it is keep on decreasing. Agree? So this angle is 60 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees. Is it clear, students, what I'm saying from the diagram? So if AB is the watching tower and C is the first position, D is the second position. The AB height is 150 given. So now the distance moved is CD. It took two minutes to move the to move from CD. So C is the first position with an angle of depression. 60 degrees. D is the second position with an angle of depression is 45 degrees. Now, if I am taking tan 45, I will get AB by AD. From here, AD is equal to 150 by tan 45. It is nothing but 150 meter. And if I'm taking tan 60, I will get AB by AC. I need AC value. AC is equal to 150 by tan 60 is root 3. That is nothing but how much? 150 by tan root 3 can be written as 50 root 3 meter. Agree? So how much distance it is traveled? CD is nothing but AD minus AC. 
What is the AD value? 150. AC value is 50 root T. Agree, students? Is it clear what I'm doing here? Yes, sir. So, this is the distance traveled in two minutes. How to calculate the velocity? Velocity is equal to distance by how much time taken to travel that distance. So, it is traveled the distance of 150 minus 50 root 3 in two minutes, 2 into 60 seconds. So, calculate if I am taking 50 common, 3 minus root 3 divided by 2 into 60. So, I am getting, if I am taking root 3 common, 5 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 divided by 12. You can leave it like this also. 5 of 3 minus root 3 by 12. This is also right answer. Meter per second. If you are having the time, calculate accurate value. 5 into 3 minus 1.732 divided by 12. Like this also, you can able to calculate the final answer. Is it clear, students, what I am saying? Friends, is it clear? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, sir, understood. Suppose sometimes they will ask us to calculate kilometer per minute and all. Then you have to change. Suppose the same question they ask you to find out kilometer per minute, kilometer per hour means once you got the meter per second, this is the answer for meter per second. So based on the requirement, you have to change. But here I didn't ask anything. Just right away you can proceed to the uh, whatever answer you are getting in your own way. You can represent the answer. Now, part two. Try this question. He is asking, you have to you have to get the answer. This answer also given here. After solving, you have to show that uh, height of the opposite house is 60 of 1 plus 2 t. So that means no need to solve for 2 3 and all. Yes, you have to mention in an iterational form. That's it. No need to keep it in decimal form or simplified form. Please solve a due time. If not, I will explain.
Got the answer, sir. He won't put himself, man. Yes, sir. He won't put himself. He is a Christian, sir. Christian, man. When? Morning, sir. When are our seats at them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, ma'am. What is the answer? Anyone got the answer? Yes, sir. So, how you done? So, this is the diagram from a window, sixty meter height above from the ground. There is a window here like this. The window of a house in street in the angle of elevation depression of the top of a foot of the tower. So there is a tower opposite to this house. This is angle of elevation from the top of the tower, angle of depression from the top of the tower, uh, bottom of the tower. This is line of sight. So angle of elevation is 60 degrees, angle of depression is 45 degrees. So show that the uh, this is the this height. So AB is the window position from the ground. And show that the height of the opposite house is. So this is another house. PQ is the another house height. Height is 60 of 1 plus 2Q. So the line of sight is dividing this one at some uh, PQ or ST, some T I am taking. So with the help of how to calculate the PT value and PT value. You have to prove PT plus QT will be equal to 60 of 1 plus root T. How to do this question? First find out the AP value to get the things. If you got the AP value that is equal to BT, then everything will come. So if this is 45, this also 45 from the alternate angle property. So tan 45 is equal to 60 by AP. So AP is equal to 60. AP is equal to 60, exactly opposite side TP is also 60. So TP value got 60. Now, how I can calculate tan 60? Tan 60 is equal to QT divided by BT. That is nothing but QT divided by AP. I got AP is equal to 60. Tan 60 is root 3. So QT is equal sixty root three meter. So the high PT plus QT is my answer. Is equal to uh, height of the opposite house. It is equal to 60 plus 60 root 3, root 3 if I am taking, sorry, 60 if I am taking common, 1 plus root 3 meter. This is how we can solve. What the, guys, is it clear? Shall I go for the next question? Yes, sir. Yeah. Whenever you don't know the angles, they give the angle here. Please carefully read the question and do it.
yeah please try this question Don't got the answer. The boy flying a kite with a string. This is a kite flying here. Ninety meters long. From the ground, making an angle theta with respect to ground. Find the height of this. So here, to get this height is like an opposite side of this angle. So sine theta is equal to h by 90. So I don't know the sine theta value. How I can calculate the sine theta value from the given tan theta? They gave the tan theta is equal to 15 by 8. So, how to calculate the sine theta value from here, students? From here, secant theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta under the root. So, 1 by secant theta is equal to cos theta. That is reciprocal. Cos theta is equal to 1 by 1 plus tan square theta. So, once I got the cos theta, then it will be easy to calculate sine theta from here. 1 by 1 plus 225 by 64. How much I am getting? This is 64 divided by 225 plus 64 is how much? 982 root of 289. I am getting cos theta is equal to 8 by 17. 17 square is 289. Am I right? Now, if cos theta is equal to eight by seventeen, what about sine theta? Sine theta will be equal to how much? One minus cos square theta, which will be seventeen square minus eight square by seventeen square under the root, which will give the fifteen by seventeen. So now I got the sine theta value, which is equal to 15 by 17. So height of the kite is 15 into 90 divided by 17. Approximately, you can find out the answer, or you can keep it in fraction. Is it clear, students? Have I got the answer for this? Guys. Is it clear? Fifteen into ninety yes, by seventeen. Move to the next question.
solve this question. Tower stands vertically on the ground. A tower stands vertically on the ground. Suppose this is the ground. There is a tower standing vertically on the ground. From a point on the ground, 100 meters away from the foot of the tower. So there is a point A and BC is the tower and 100 meters from the ground. Foot of the tower, angle of elevation of the top is 45. Then what is the height? This is 45. Then what is the height? Very simple. And 45 is equal to BC by AB. So this is nothing but BC is equal to AB tan 45. So AB is 100 into 1. So the height of the tower is 100. Meter. Is it clear? How I got this is 100? Okay. Yeah, next question. Yeah. All these questions, students. The shadow of a tower standing on a level of ground found to be 30 meter longer when sun's altitude is 30 degrees to when it was 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower. Giving two three minutes time. Please try to solve. Uh, what is the diagram? How the diagram looks? Suppose this is the sun's position. This is the a tower standing on the ground like this. You can feel the shadow. This is the shadow at one particular position. So I got at 30 degrees. This is the shadow when it is 30 degrees. I know what is the lens. Suppose if I'm taking this is O. This is AB is the tower. And when after when it is moving like this, so shadow length will decrease. When the sun is reached some other position, now the light is coming like this. So now the shadow will be at this position. 60 degrees. They said O. I'm taking this is O dash. The difference between this is that means it moved. It uh, they found that uh, when it is at 30 degrees, it is 30 meter longer than when it was 60. That means 
this is 30 meter the difference between the length of the shadows when it is at 30 degrees angle of elevation 60 degrees angle of elevation is 30 meter so he is asking find the height of the tower h this is the diagram for this this 30 meter is o o dash so we need h value how to do this question is it clear what is the question i am trying to say to you people students yes sir just yes, try to uh, try to calculate It's very simple. Assume this distance is x. So this total distance will become x plus thirty for the second triangle. If I am taking tan thirty, that will be equal to AB by OA. That is nothing but H by x plus thirty. This is my first equation. I am taking tan 60. That is equal to h by. Sorry, I am taking a b by o dash a. That is h by x. This is my second equation. The value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3. The value of tan 60 is root 3. So from here, x is equal to h by root 3 from the second equation. Substitute this x value in the first equation. What is the first equation says? One by root three is equal to h by h by root three plus thirty. So I'm cross multiplying. I will get one by root three of h by root three plus thirty is equal to h. So what I will get here? Eighty by three plus. Sir, is the height of the tower fifteen root three meters, sir? Let's see. So h minus h by three will be equal to ten root three. This is two h by three is equal to ten root three. Correct, madam. Fifteen root three is the answer. Two pi times. So h is equal to fifteen root three meters. Super correct. Everyone got the answer. Then I will move to the next question. Students, please respond. Yeah, I'm moving to the next question. Please solve this question. Please 
Please solve this question. Anyone got the answer? Sir, is the answer 50 meters, sir? Once again. The answer, height of D. He's asking, wow, find the height of the tower and sir, the distance sir. of the first position. What is sir, the height of the tower? The will be 50 meters, sir. Sorry? Sir, the distance of the first position of the, from the tower will be 50 meters, sir. Distance of the first position from the tower. That means you are saying x, x value, correct? Yes, sir. X value will be 50 meters, sir. And height will be 50 root 3. Correct. Super. So I'm going to draw the diagram. Let's see whether the angle of elevation of a top of tower obtained from a point in a horizontal plane to a foot of the tower is 30 degrees. When observed moves towards the tower distance of 100 meters. There is a tower like this. And at the ground, from one particular position, he is observing top of the tower with an angle of elevation of 30 degrees. And he moved a distance of 100 meters exactly. And again, he observed, he found that angle of elevation at this position is 60 degrees. Okay, I'm assuming this length is X and this is H. A, B, C, D are the first initially is at D and moved to C. So he's asking H value, same like previous question. This is a diagram you can able to draw. So find uh, tan 60 will be equal to h by x. From here, x is equal to how much? h by root 3. So tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. Which is equal to h by x plus 100. So 
substituting these values will give the h value first once you got the h value x value also you can able to calculate is it clear so let's go for the next question students It clear. Shall I go for the next question, students? Yes, sir. Forty-seven. So do the forty seventh question. Anyone got the forty seventh question? Anyone got the forty seventh question?
Anyone got the Pati seventh question? Tower and uh, P, sir, point P. Okay. If fire in building B is reported to your telephone, you put two fire stations P and Q, 20 kilometers apart from each other. P observes that fire is at an angle is 60 degrees, and the R, Q observes 45 degrees at an angle. So, Right road. Now, this is a point P, this is a point Q, and this distance is how much, madam? 20 kilometers, correct? Yes, sir. So, now this is the situation. P observes that the fire is at an angle of 60 degrees, uh, and Q observes at an angle of 45 degrees. Which station should send the team and how much should the team have to travel? It's not like this, then it is on the other side. The diagram is not like this. So, so the diagram is that is a right diagram. But the thing I drawn is not the right diagram. It's like this. Suppose this is the height of the building, and one side is having one fire station P, which is a 60 degrees, one side is having another fire station Q, 45 degrees. Now it is correct. Correct? So the distance between P and Q is 20 meters. Total distance is 20 meters, correct? This is uh, A, this is B. This total distance is 20, 20 kilometers. Now you have to solve the question. So from P they have to send or from Q they have to send? Which can? Students, is it clear what I'm saying? Take this as a height H. You have to decide which is greater distance. Should be very clear. You can say 60 degrees is making lesser distance. Always more angle is lesser distance. What is the distance you are getting, madam? Is it clear what I'm saying? 
sir but i uh, drew the first draw, uh, diagram which you drew sir that only i did sir that is clearly saying you are uh, sending from at pay degrees is far away from it now Usually, forty-five degrees generally is far away from it, which is equal to h, and you have to show AP is less than h. See, because of this forty-five degrees, this is h, and you have to show this is less than h. Anyway, these kind of questions is not there. Associated with the two right angle triangles is not there. But anyway, how I can show this is AP is less than h, tan sixty is equal to h by AP. So from here, h is equal to uh, root three. AP. So root three AP means and uh, root three times of AP. So AQ is equal to H. AP is equal to H by root three. That is AP is less than AQ. So we will uh, from which station send the teams and how much will the team have to travel? So he need to send the From P and uh, how much you need to travel? How much you need to travel? You are H plus H by root three is equal to twenty kilometers. From here, two H is equal. Uh, sorry, not two H. H is equal twenty by one plus one by root three. So twenty root three by one plus root three. But I want H by root three. So into one by root three. So he need to travel twenty by one twenty by one plus two three meters. That's it. Yeah. Go for the forty eight question. You should not take both the teams on same side because you are taking both the teams on same side. You are only deciding one is nearer to the. There is no point. Like both are on same side. Definitely one is nearer to it. Now how we can say. Do the party eight question. Man, top of a tower, hundred meters high, and I'm of the two cars on the opposite sides of the tower. Here the data is very clear. So there is a tower, one side of the tower, and another side of the tower. Two cars he is observing. One car he has observed with an angle of depression of thirty degrees. Another car he is observed with an angle of depression is forty five degrees. Find the distance between both the cars. So I try to solve this question.
Anyone got the question number 48? The diagram is like this. Same as previous question. But here, they gave the height of the tower. One car he is observing with an angle of elevation of 45 degrees. Another car he is observing with an angle of depression of 30 degrees. So AB is the height of the tower. C1, C2 are the two cars. These are the angle of elevations and sorry, angle of depressions. This is 30 degrees. This is 45 degrees. Site is 100. So automatically, uh, tan 45 will be equal to 100 by BC1. So from here, BC1 is equal to 100. This is the distance from the tower to car 1. So tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 is equal to 100 by BC2. From here, BC2 is equal to 100 root 3 meters. So what is the distance between the cars, students? So C1, C2 is equal to 100 plus 100 root 3. That is 100 of 1 plus root 3. 100 of 2.73. So what is the answer? It is root 3 is equal to. The answer is the distance between two cars is 273 meters. Agree? Anyone having any doubt in this? Students, please respond. Students, please respond. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, see, I will share the worksheets of menstruation uh, circles and this chapter today. So just go through next class. We'll come with uh, doubts and other discussions. We'll, uh, we'll do circles and menstruations in next class. After if you have to these two, three days, please sit and practice these worksheets and we'll meet in the next class. So shall I end up the session? Anyone having any doubts to ask or shall I end up the session? Guys, you can close or anything we will discuss again. Harita, Amrita, please. No doubt, no, sir. Yeah. We'll meet in next class. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.